Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to one of Zen Studio's new and exciting features, Application Monitoring. Application Monitoring utilizes data collected by your server during application development and provides live notifications in Zen Studio for each server event, allowing you to perform a fast, real-time root cause analysis of your application. An event is a collection of runtime-related information collected by Zen Server. This information is collected when an event is triggered according to the Zen Server Monitor component's rule settings. An event indicates that something happened in your environment that exceeded your definitions and the standards of how you want your PHP code to run. For this tutorial, I'm using Zen Studio 903, Zen Server 5.6, and a ready-made and deployed application that includes code simulating three groups of event types. Custom events, application errors, and performance events. For starters, let's begin with a custom event. This unique event rule is used to initiate events from a PHP script. In contrast to other events which are triggered by specific occurrences, custom events control event creation. In this example, I've asked the server to respond to my request by a hello world notification. After submitting my request, the studio icon in the taskbar indicates that a notification was received. I'm going to open Zen Studio to view this notification and click Source to identify the root cause of this event. The relevant file and code triggering the event are displayed, in this case an API function. Now let's see how application monitoring helps us in identifying otherwise time-consuming mistakes in our syntax. This time we're going to simulate a PHP error event. This event is triggered by syntax or parse errors or uncaught exceptions. Again, I'm going to submit my request. A PHP error event is triggered and application monitoring displays a notification with clues to the root cause. Clicking source opens and displays the relevant file and code and as a notification pointed out, the cause of this event is an impossible division in the syntax. In our last example, we're going to simulate a fatal PHP error event. This event is triggered by fatal errors in our PHP. In this case, the server is failing to reply to our request because of a call to an unidentified function. Let's have a closer look. The unidentified function triggering the event is displayed. To configure application monitoring, select the project in the PHP Explorer and go to the relevant project properties dialog. In this dialog, I can either enable or disable the feature. I can select the severity level for events warranting notification. I can also set a time limit for the appearance of the notifications. Another easy way to either enable or disable application monitoring is from the targets view. Just expand the target, right click the application and select your choice. In this case, disable application monitoring. Application monitoring can also be enabled for all applications associated with the target also applications existing outside your workspace. To do this, right click the target and select enable target monitoring. Thanks for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on working with application monitoring and additional new features available in Zen Studio 903, please refer to Zen's online product documentation at zen.com.